Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to delete and move on GarageBand. Oh well. We want to get rid of that. Oh well. So what we got to do is highlight it and then Control Command M. And there you go. It got rid of it without having to do the hard work. The importance of this is to know how to cut things really quickly. So when I was editing this, I thought, oh, this does not look good. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead with it. Normally I use OBS to just, you know, show my tutorials on what I'm doing with editing and stuff like that. But this time around, I thought I'll try something different. I don't know. I think I'll continue with OBS from now on. I'm just going to upload this anyway. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll probably redo it. Maybe not. Of course, I looked online to check to see what, how other people do it. And this is what the recommendation was. We have to go to edit, delete and move. There's no command there. So we're going to make a command called delete and move. I am going to go to system preferences and click keyboard. And in the keyboard, you can do um, shortcuts. And from there, you can do app shortcuts. And here I've made a shortcut from GarageBand. It's called delete and move. <laughs> I'll show you how I did that. Delete this one and now I will make a new one and open up in GarageBand and now I'm going to type down this is case sensitive so make sure it's exactly like the command on the GarageBand. Now we're going to type down the command Control Command M at the same time and then you press add and there it is, Control Command M, and excuse the noise. And we can see that the command delete and move has changed to Control Command M. Before I was doing that, I was doing this. I was selecting the clip here. On the bottom half, I would split the playhead from here and then split the playhead from this side. So that is all split. And then you can't select it from here because it just does that. So you have to select from up here. And so once that's selected, you press the delete button and then it would leave a gap. Unfortunately, the gap is there. So you'll have to just like go from here and move. And I'd have to do that for every arms and furs, which is very tedious. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like, let me know, and so that the algorithm will push this video to more people. And also, if you did enjoy that and would like more of that, with those kinds of videos, please give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.